where you get your beats. Hey smileys, hey, it's AI and this is AI Brown Smile. Welcome back to my channel for another video and welcome to my 2020 bullet journal flip through. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe if you like good vibes. So the first few pages in this bullet journal are for the key and index pages, but I never really use them. 2020 was a tough year for everyone, but tough times don't last, tough people do. This picture stood out for me because it's a representation of having your own back and by that I mean feeling proud of who you are and having confidence in yourself. This is my year at a glance which is designed to present a snapshot of the full year. The following pages list all of the upcoming events throughout the year and helps me to see a high level view of what my year might look like. I then have a place for goals and ideas as well as a 2020 bucket list. From there, I jump right into my monthly and weekly logs where I list goals, tasks, notes, and to-do list. I've seen bullet journals that use a daily log as well, but it's unlikely that you'll need a monthly, weekly, and daily log, but do as you wish. I also list a quote at the top of each week because a good quote makes my heart happy. This one is from Oprah Winfrey and it says, what God intended for you goes far beyond anything you can imagine. And I truly believe that. God wants us all to have joyful and purposeful lives. I also include a habit tracker and gratitude log for each month. Habit trackers help me to hold myself accountable for building healthy habits and creating routines. And gratitude is important because it makes you appreciate what you have rather than focusing on what you don't have. I also started to include a monthly review page. As you can see, I didn't stick to a theme for each month like a lot of Bujo users do. I just kind of wing it. 2020 was my first full year as an MBA student, so a lot of my notes are assignment reminders, group meeting times, and deadlines for upcoming assignments. And for March, we have a quick reminder to live your best life despite your circumstances. You'll see that a lot of the magazine clippings in this journal are from the O Magazine. This is where I had to use whiteout to fix a mistake, but like I've mentioned before, it doesn't have to be perfect as long as it serves its purpose. It's okay to make mistakes. In fact, you will definitely make mistakes, but just keep going. Keep going. I really like how my April cover turned out. I spent quite a bit of time on this one. And my monthly log for April says, April is a promise that May is bound to keep, which is another quote. I also like to make note of the moon phases. So whenever there's a full moon or a new moon, sometimes I'll put it in my calendar. No habit tracker this month because it was 2020 and I even have some gaps in my gratitude log. Alone together, this was at the height of the stay at home order. It says we may be keeping our distance, but we are in this together. So true. And I thought this was a really beautiful picture. It looks like a black girl doing magic to me, which I really love. We are most certainly magical. Okay, here's a habit tracker that I started but didn't quite finish because again, 2020. 2020. And June. Happy Pride Month to everyone. Love is love, period. Things to do, you. Do you, boo. Always and forever. At this point, I started counting down the weeks left in the semester, which I did 
every single school semester until I graduated, literally. It's true, what can I say? June's gratitude log included my father for fathering me and always doing his best, loyal friends and having a solid circle, good health and a happy heart. This was my monthly log for July. I decided not to draw up the full calendar. Kept it simple. Bullet journals can be a great creative outlet that helps you to stay organized and productive as well. The internet is full of inspo for different trackers, logs, and page layouts that range from really simple and minimal to super artsy, colorful, and creative. But what's most important is that you make it your own and be original. Plan month by month or draw all of your planner out at once. Keep it simple or get colorful and creative or do both. If you're thinking about starting a bullet journal, go for it, just start. There's a 50-50 chance that you'll absolutely love it, right? The bullet journal is great because you can make it anything you need it to be. If you need a page to sketch and doodle on while you jot down your to-do list, you can do so. If you need a system that you can easily change, you can also do that. The flexibility of the bullet journal is definitely a key part of why it's so popular. Here's another quote that I thought was good. This one is for fall and it says, the trees are about to show us how lovely it is to let dead things go because we all need to let go of some things sometimes. So as we move along, my weekly logs look a little bit different as well. I didn't use any lines on these, just a space for each day of the week and then a space at the bottom of the page for any notes. Another partially completed gratitude log. I will say that I wake up each and every day with a grateful heart, whether I write it down or not. For November, I put the gratitude log before anything else. 2020 was a very important campaign year, as we all know. And I was blessed enough to spend another Thanksgiving with my family. This is your worth it. It's a speech by Viola Davis. It's a gripping self-worth speech that is truly empowering. And I absolutely adore Viola Davis. And finally, the most wonderful time of the year, December. The best advice I can give you is to start where you are with what you have. It's not about having an expensive notebook, fancy pens, or the perfect handwriting or penmanship. If you want to give Bullet Journal a try, just start. I purchased this bullet journal on Amazon for about $15. It's called my Big Fat Bullet Journal and it's 305 8.5 by 11 dotted pages. I prefer full size pages over the smaller bullet journals and I always use dotted pages. It's just easier, especially if you're just beginning. A little self care inspo Netflix and chill, cuddle with Bay, read, write or take some time to pray. And this is the 10 step Korean skincare routine. However, I think it's important to focus less on how many steps you take and more on which steps actually suit your skin type. Figure out a regimen that works best for you and stick to it. This is another 52 week savings challenge. Great for putting away money for a rainy day or saving for a vacay. This journal also comes in many other versions with different cover designs. With my 2020 bullet journal, I use the first half of the notebook for my monthly planners and the second half for a bunch of magazine clippings, doodling and other fun stuff.
Now these pages depict some decor I really like. It's a collage of decor that I find aesthetically pleasing. Another reminder to live your best life, of course. I really enjoy putting these pages together and watching the way they came together in the end. Home decor is one of my things. I don't think there's anything else in the world like a house that feels like home. This is a cleaning schedule that breaks down tasks into daily, weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, biannual, and annual tasks. So there's always something to do, basically. Because of its popularity, there's tons of bullet journal ideas available on the internet. So try not to get overwhelmed with all of the ideas that are out there. This is just a few more pages of collages of things that I love. Got some shades, some lip gloss, some cozy blankets in there. Here's a quote from one of my favorite writers, James Baldwin. It says, I am what time, circumstance, history have made of me, certainly, but I am also much more than that. So are we all. James Baldwin is probably best known for his books of essays, in particular, Notes of a Native Son. Sometimes I just piece together, piece pages together in a creative way. Similar to a traditional journal, a bullet journal is often a creative outlet and a way to practice mindfulness. I also keep a journal for writing every single day. So yes, this year had quite a few blank pages and unfinished pages, which says a lot about what kind of year it was. 2020 was a year that made all of us long for the simpler times in life, right? We faced a whole host of social, political, economical, and environmental issues, and of course, a whole pandemic. It was a very unique year to say the least, and one that we'll never be able to forget, which is why it is so important to be present, remain present, seize the moment, and make your moments matter. Every single second, every minute, every hour, make it count. And I just thought this little bear was cute, so there you go. And always, always be thankful and express gratitude on a daily basis. Being thankful helps you get through life's toughest times because you can easily call to mind all of the good things in life. Say their names. George Floyd, Breonna Taylor, and countless others. AI Brown smile, just playing with the font here. The remainder of the pages are just more magazine clippings and some blank pages as well. There's also a random notes throughout the book that I just magazine clippings that I didn't get to use. A how we met page that I wanted to write the story of how we met on and yet another note to live your best life. And this is a really cute house in the woods that just looks like a place I'd gladly visit. I can definitely see myself chilling on the porch with a good read and a refreshing drink for sure on a nice summer day.
But that's a wrap. If you survived 2020, give yourself a huge hug and a hand clap. Thanks for watching Smiley's. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. See you in the next one. Mwah.